As the yearly game between the Gamecocks and Clemson Tigers quickly approaches, Gamecocks are forced to sit through awkward conversation after awkward conversation with Clemson fans as they want to claim that this game isn't really a rivalry, but more a domination. Oh, well, I mean, I think the record speaks for itself. Yes, absolutely. How many years in a row did we beat them? It's kind of a lot. Until three years ago, it wasn't even a rivalry. We just beat them out of the water every year. The overall record is just pure domination. I fully agree. It is a domination. It's definitely a little bit more of a domination. It's like they have some cult that they're all a member of and have this dynamic, charismatic leader uniting their message and guiding their way. Uh, you know, there's a lot of rivalries out there. This is more of a domination. Yabba dabba do. Da boner. That's adorable. Winning. I'd say if you win 70% of the games. Adam says 80%. Do you agree 80% defines domination? I think 80% is a fair. Since we're talking historical football rivalries, I was curious if the Clemson fans viewed the Florida-Florida State game as a domination also. The, the Florida-Florida State game is represented there visually. Is this domination? I, I'd say the Gators obviously have the upper hand. Because that's not a very obviously, big difference. the Gators have a bigger, it, it, it's bigger. Small... And I wouldn't call that quite domination, but yeah, they're winning. <laughs> I mean, it, it's more. Um, no, 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 it's not. Close. That's not close to domination. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. So 60-40 is not domination. Uh, no. Let's talk about domination, shall we? Alabama has beaten Kentucky in football 95% of the times that they have played. The University of North Carolina has beaten Clemson in Chapel Hill every single time they've ever played there, a record 56-0. and zero. In order to define the South Carolina-Clemson football rivalry as a domination, we need to know the winning percentages of both teams. Well, Clemson has won 65 of the games and South Carolina's won 40, but there's four ties. So we split the ties in half and gave two wins to Clemson and two wins to South Carolina, which brings our total to 67 for Clemson and 42 for South Carolina. As painful as this will be for Clemson fans watching the video, I'm now going to use arithmetic. Sixty-seven over 109 equals 61%. What? <laughs> 61%? I'm not going to lie. Like, I, I even thought it was going to be more than 61%. Like, I, I did. I really did. I, I mean, I feel like Clemson's won more than 61%, but who am I to argue with math? All right. 61%. Okay, put the graphic up of Clemson, South Carolina at 61%. Now, not the Florida, Florida State graphic. Put the South Carolina, Clemson graphic up. Oh, that is the Clemson, South Carolina graphic? No, seriously? Okay. All right, well, put them next to each other. All right, so, wow. Oof, holy cow. Like, okay, so they're pretty much the same. So there it is. The argument's over. It's not a domination. And so now when I go back with this and show them both graphics side by side, surely Clemson fans aren't going to tell me that that is a domination. So what you're saying is this is domination and that's not domination. Correct. So of these visual representations of the same exact mathematics, I know that might be confusing for a law school person to use math. No, it's not confusing for me because I know what you're doing. That's not even a fair comparison. No. However, it could be misleading to somebody who just doesn't get the way you're twisting these statistics. Okay. okay. Y'all agree with that? Yeah, yes. I mean. Yes. Okay. yes. So, but just point to, the, point to the picture of this domination for me. So you're saying point to the one that's domination. This is domination over here. The Tigers versus the Gamecocks. Domination. And this is not domination? Not domination. <laughs> okay. You said domination is defined as 70%. Yeah. But so seeing that Clemson's only won 61%, do you feel like you might could reclassify what that rivalry is, more like the upper hand, or do you still think it's domination? It's pretty close. It's close enough to call it. We round up here. We round up. 61 rounds up to 70 at Clemson? Exactly. Okay. Yes. I wish the grade point average rounded up like that. <laughs> oh, Clemson math. You know what the main thing I learned while filming this video, besides the fact that when I'm walking around on camera, I should wear a hat that covers my entire head? I learned that all Clemson and South Carolina fans on the inside are the exact same. They both want their teams to win wholeheartedly, and they both will choose to believe whatever truths they choose to believe. If Clemson fans choose to believe that 61% is historical domination, then it is. If Clemson fans choose to believe that getting beat three years in a row by an average of 20 points a game is not domination, then it's not. But the single greatest thing I learned while putting this video together 
was that these Clemson fans are actual people. They're human beings with friends and family and loved ones. Up to this point, I had assumed all Clemson fans were programmable robots built in an underground lair by Danny Ford. Turns out, that was wrong. I would venture to say that a good third of the Clemson fans that I talked to actually had brains. Yes, I admit it. I've spun these stats and manipulated these interviews and changed the editing to make the Gamecocks look better. No, duh. It's my video. But I'm hoping Clemson fans will at least readily admit that they only like to talk about the historical domination because they've lost the game for three years in a row and they're losing their mind because it seems like an Old Testament plague has occurred in the interim since the last time Clemson won this game. But just know this. If you're talking smack about this game, if you're on the South Carolina side or the Clemson side, and it's not in a 14-day window that brackets the game, that makes you an unreasonable fan and most likely a jerk. So was I a jerk last January, the day after the Orange Bowl, when I set an automatic Google calendar reminder for July 20th that told me to make sure to tweet that West Virginia just scored again? Yes, that made me a jerk. That's why I added the hashtag, yes, that tweet just made me a jerk. So just know this though, we are now presently in that 14 day window, so talk all the smack you want Tigers, Gamecocks, because it's on. Holy crap, West Virginia has just scored again. <laughs> <laughs>